Hi everybody, so a couple of weeks ago I wrote a blog about mud fever and preventing it and treating it. I thought I would do a little video about how to go about that. And Chesney has had mud fever in the past, um, hasn't had it recently, but this is really what I do to try and prevent him getting um, mud fever in the winter time. So as you can see he's got really muddy legs and his feathers are quite long. Um, I've just cut them because they've grown again from the beginning of the winter. So I'm taking some time really, I'm just hosing off the mud. And we've got really sticky clay mud where I keep uh, the horses at the moment. And it takes quite a bit of sort of working it out of his feathers and not trying to rub it into his skin obviously, but just trying to sort of massage it along the hair uh, because when there's so much mud on there it's not possible to just cut it out so I have to wash his feathers off to start with and to soften up the mud so that will then come off so that I can then trim his feathers afterwards. So I've just gone through around all his legs and got the worst of the mud off and now I've taken a pair of scissors and I'm just holding out his long feathers and cutting them off. Now this isn't going to be show quality feather trimming, this is for prevention of mud fever. So I'm really doing it a bit roughly and not spending hours making it look beautiful and just as you can see using the scissors to cut the hair off each leg in turn. So it's, as you can see, holding it out and then cutting it. I've got quite good sharp pair of scissors so I can cut relatively bigger chunks off at once. And just around his fetlock, being very careful of his ergot, obviously, that is on the, tucked in there in the middle of his feathers down there. And as, you, as I said, it is quite rough. Now the next thing I'm doing is shampooing his legs. I'm using a medicated shampoo and this isn't something I do very often at all in the winter, hosing them or washing them, just occasionally as a preventative measure really to get them nice and clean, short feathers so that I can then put on a cream when they're dry. So I'm just going around each leg with the medicated shampoo giving them good clean, checking down his legs in case he has got any mud fever scabs. When I'm putting the shampoo on I'm massaging it in quite well just to make sure that it gets down to the skin surface and it's also when I'm good, having a good feel to see if he's got any scabs anywhere at all and luckily he didn't have so that was uh, really good news. And because he's now got the shorter feathers, it's much easier to give it a good wash through than it was at the beginning when he still had all his long feathers. So I've moved into a dry part of the yard so that I can towel his feathers off. I obviously don't have a hair dryer at the yard, so I give them a good towel off, making sure that I get the little um, dip bit um, on the back of his heel nice and dry. And then I find the best thing to do as they're in at night is he goes in his stable overnight and his legs dry off nicely and then in the morning I can just trim any last little bits of hair that feather that I missed yesterday because his uh, feathers are all still wet so I'll just give it a little trim in the morning they're nice and dry now so I can put on my cream that I put on this is the one that I have used for quite a few years now that I really like. It's got a slight antibacterial part to it, uh, although I'm not sure actually how much use that would be if he had really got mud fever. But I massage it into his heels and up into his fetlock um, and past and joint, as you can see, up to where his sesamoid bone is right into the skin just to make sure that it's a really nice waterproof barrier. It's the most disgusting, sticky, slimy, greasy stuff but it does the job which is exactly what I want it to do. 
and it creates a nice waterproof layer on his heels to protect him from getting mud fever or cracked heels or pasta and dermatitis, however you like to uh, call it. So as you can see I am really massaging it into his heels, into the little dip bit in the middle again and right up to where his feathers were before I cut it. And you can see there that actually I cut them quite roughly. If I'd clipped them they would be beautiful but it would also mean that his ha would have no hair protection on his legs at all and I do think that having a bit of hair protection helps um, against mud fever as well. So we're giving it a good massage in before we finish. And obviously I do that to all of the legs. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks ever so much for watching. And if you have enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Bye.